Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to quickly shatter your text into broken shards. I provided a PSD file for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. The file includes two textures, broken concrete and bare metal. Click off the eyeball of the metal to hide it. With the concrete background active, click on the New Layer button to make a new layer above it. Make sure your foreground color is black. If it isn't, click the double box icon. Press Alt plus Delete on a PC or Option plus Delete on a Mac. Go to View and make sure Snap is not checked. Open your type tool and choose a thick heavy font. I'm using American Captain. It has a point size of 230, smooth, center text, and the color is white. Type out your text. Open your move tool to reposition it. We need to slide some of the letters up or down. To do this, go to Window and Character and open your type tool again. Highlight the character you want to slide and go to the baseline shift icon. Slide it to the right or left to move the letter up or down. Continue highlighting letters and slide their baselines up or down. Then close the character window. Go to Layer, Rasterize, and Type. To center the text on your document, press Ctrl or Command A, click your Move tool, and click on the Align Horizontal Centers icon and the Align Vertical Centers icon. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command D. Open your Polygonal Lasso tool and click and drag out a shape around part of your text. To cut it out from your main text and place that part on its own layer, press Control shift j on a PC or Command shift j on a Mac. Click back on your main text to make it active. Draw out another shape over a different area of your text and cut that part out. Continue to cut out numerous parts from your main text. Let's place all of the parts into a folder. Scroll up to the top part and shift click on the layer to highlight all the parts. Press Ctrl or Command G. Name it whatever you like. Double click on the layer to open its layer style window. Click Drop Shadow. The blend mode is Multiply and the color is black. Make the opacity 80 percent, the distance 5 pixels, the spread 25 percent, and the size 20 pixels. Then click OK. Open your folder and make the top layer active. Press V to open your move tool. Click on the part and move it so it looks like it's broken off. Click on the next layer to make it active and move that part. If you want to rotate it, press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool, go to a corner, and when you see a curved double arrow, rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. Click inside the transform to reposition it, then press Enter or Return. Continue to move and or rotate the parts until you're happy with the results. Then collapse the folder. We want to copy the drop shadow effect to the main text. To do this, go to the FX icon and press and hold Alt or Option and drag the copy to the main text layer. Let's trash the black layer since we don't need it anymore. Make the bare metal visible and active and change its blend mode to multiply. I'd like to make the text pop a bit more, so I'll adjust the brightness and contrast of the background. Make the background active 
and click on the Adjustment Layer button. Click Brightness and Contrast and make the brightness minus 50 and the contrast plus 35. Using these simple techniques, you can transform text into shattered pieces of stone, concrete marble, or any other solid material. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.